The extreme point method is a continuation of the Lisa's craft example. Same objective function with three constraints. Note that we've added a third constraint, a new constraint for OSHA. The first two uh, constraints have already been graphed, so now we need to graph the third OSHA requirement. Same as the other two, we find the x1 and x2 interaxis intercepts. We do so by plugging a zero into the equation. For the x2 axis, we set x1 equal to zero. And we get x2 equal to three. And of course, x1 equal to zero. We do the same for the x1 axis intercept by setting x2 equal to 0 we can find x1 x1 equals 5 and x2 equals 0 Here we have graphed out all three constraints. The constraint for Department 1, the constraint for Department 2, and in green, the third constraint for the OSHA requirement. <clears throat> all three requirements are less than or equal to, so the feasible feasibility region is as marked. The extreme point theorem says that our optimal solution will be at one of, in this case, four corner points. There is a special case where if it's equal to the line, it could be on the line. Next, we show the coordinates of each coordinate of each corner point. Note that the origin is zero zero. Last, um, with the extreme point, is to plug the coordinates of each of our four points in this case into the, func into the objective function and find the optimal solution. So our objective function for our first point at the origin, 0, 0. For our x1, This is the intersection of the two lines. And finally, we have the x2 axis intercept. In this case, we know that our objective function is to maximize. So we want to maximize profit. So the one with the highest profit is our Z4 point, which is the X2 intercept. We know we want to make 3.5 units of X2 and 0 units of X1.